Well, now, health inequalities, classroom standards and self-esteem, they're just some of the indirect beneficiaries of children in need. Each year, the BBC's main fundraising campaign swings into action. This coming Friday sees the great annual showpiece. Michele Paduano has been to see how one minibus is helping to deliver not just a slice of the big society, but also a healthier way of living for some Staffordshire children in need. It's lifestyle and lack of exercise, not overeating, that's the major cause of obesity. Youngsters play computer sport rather than doing it. When Ryan Hatton was 12, he was two stone heavier and his life was going nowhere. I was kind of like the, the classic out clown, to be honest. I, uh, just silly, silly comments. Not, not big things, but they would all add up. Now at 15, he's Three Nations boxing champion and he's totally dedicated. His dad can't believe the turnaround. The transformation has been unbelievable. He's, he's not interested in, in going out with his friends anymore so much, you know, or just hanging around. He, he, he wants to be at the gym, he wants to engage different people and uh, his attitude's completely different. He's a different lad. Tamworth Amateur Boxing Club, established 1969. Part of the Big Society before the Big Society. It punches well above its weight in a poor community. Although it's had lottery funding, it often feels that it's fighting with one hand tied behind its back when trying to develop. What I think of the big society is, um, where is it? When's it going to happen? Because it certainly hasn't changed anything for us. We're struggling for space, as you can see. More by thinking if this big society was to work, then we would have that space. Without BBC Children in Need funding this minibus, pupils from Belgrave High School would struggle to get here. Some of these teenagers could have been expelled. They're now taught by boxing coaches who have landed 115 GCSEs. It's weird, it's just it's a lot more bonding, if you know what I mean, it's a lot more fun. It's not like boring or something to make the lesson more fun. I'm naughty in school, so I come here and it just makes me feel better. It's better than school. But the school's budget for alternative courses has halved. Across healthcare as a whole, 20 billion needs to be saved. Some doctors are worried about health inequality even in Wolverhampton, where a project has struck gold. I would recognise and, and probably agree nationally, we have got caught up in the, in the 20 billion argument, and we do need to um, make certain that we don't lose the health inequality uh, um, discussion. Children need exercise, and after exercise, they do better in the classroom. The best way out of poverty is through education, and people who are educated, quite simply, live longer. In parts of the West Midlands, a quarter of children are classed as obese. Officially in Birmingham, more than a third live in poverty. And a child born in Sandwell will live five years less than one born in Stratford. That's almost as long as Summer Morgan's been alive. Will a bout of austerity leave more children in need? Knockout and well done, children in need.